What in the world? New text message oh. from Sexy Boy Geo. Oh. Dude, it's like almost taller than you on the hood. It's taller than me, period. Hey, aren't like man buns like a 2015 type of thing? <laughs> or is it just like the quarantine look? Look at me! <laughs> you look fine! Look at me, bro! Dude, what? No, what is this? What is this? Hold on. I think that's a safety violation. It's flat. The tire? Yeah. 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 I, I need to go get new tires, bro. Feel this shit. Yeah. Look at the, like, what, is, what is this? The racing slick? Are you out there racing the streets? No, I wish I was. Mm. I <laughs> wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> that's not that heavy. Bro, do that again, it felt good. Okay guys, so first what we have to do is we need to put, since we're gonna do this on the driveway and it's front wheel drive, we don't want the car to roll back into my truck. I don't give a crap if it hits anything else, I just don't want it to hit my truck. So I would just move my truck, but I'm too lazy to do that. So instead, we're gonna put some bricks behind the tires, that way we can protect the truck and we can lift it up and, you know, the car won't roll back. Sound good? Would you have done that or would you have just rolled it into my truck? I would probably just... Uh-huh, yeah, okay. And now, so that I am not destroying my beautiful clothes here that look horrible, I need to get into outfit. Okay, hit record. Are you recording? Uh, uh, yeah, hit Are you already recording? Yes. You're supposed to tell me you're... Oh, God. Um, Devon, come I'm here? recording. Good, no, wait, come here. Like ten Retarded. million bucks, <laughs> ten million bucks. I was gonna say a million and bucks. pesos. No dollars. Yeah. So today, 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 today. On today, we're making a video on teaching this guy how to do his oil change on this 2018 Honda Accord that is neglected and abused. But we should still want to. We still want to change the oil. So we're gonna teach Gio here. Tur Gio, turn, turn the camera. How do I do it? That's this? it. So we're gonna, we're gonna train him today on how to do this the right way. I hope. So, let's get the jack and let's cute, get started. Oh, stop. You, you, I don't want to see all that. Why? Because always. Did you just ask me if you need that? Have you not watched the videos? Always need to use a jack stand because you can't trust big bad boy orange. Whoa. He can fall at any time. Okay. We gotta find our little jack spot, which is gonna be right under here, right hey, Devon, what there. Do you want? Dude, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm doing this, man. I'm working. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Always use the jack stands. Safety. Yes. Now, where do you think your oil is? It even gives you a cheat code. It literally says engine oil. Where? <laughs> oh, hey, I found it. <laughs> yeah. I okay. Got it. So how will we take that out? How are we gonna drain this? Mm. We need to undo that bolt. Yes! This bolt? Yes! Okay. But first, let's put a tarp down so we don't ruin the concrete. We're gonna take this 17 millimeter. Well, you're gonna take the 17 millimeter. And then uh, take this down there. And, um, uh, oh. Oh, God. Also, when, quick note, when, when letting these fill, make sure this is popped up, because if you don't, or you forget to uh, take this out, well, hmm, I don't want to tell you guys what happens, because I've had it happen to me before. We want to angle it, since it's on a downhill, we're going to angle it towards this side, because if we're going to angle it this side, all the oil is going to back up over there and go over the edge. So we're going to turn it around like this, and we're going to get this in our position. We always got to prepare for a shootout, because the oil is going to want to shoot out kind of far, so we don't want to do it right there, like that, like that, right? Okay, cool? Okay, great. It's going to be tricky at first, and it's going to be really loose once you break it. Loose. Don't, don't, you're not breaking it, breaking it. I'm kind of scared, Devon. Don't be scared. Yeah, you got it. Can now put the thing back. Wait, wait, put your tray back. And once you let it go, though, it's going to shoot. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go. Push it back a little bit towards the back of the car, just a tad. Okay, there you go. Careful. Lean it towards. Look at that, how close that was, you guys. It's literally hanging off the edge up there top. It's just chilling right there, it wants to go over. All right, your, your first step's done. How, how does it feel? I feel like a man now. <laughs> That's some dark oil. How many miles has it been? Um, beats me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Car has like 30,000 miles. Oh, Never yeah. been changed. It has like 32,000. <laughs> you want how much uh, oil my truck takes? Um, 12 quarts, which is three gallons. Um, 
Yeah. How, how many? Do you know how long uh, I couldn't even use that container if I wanted to use that container to, to drain it because no it way. wouldn't hold it. Yeah, it wouldn't hold all that. What? I use a huge one for the truck. It's crazy. You use a huge one? Oh, the biggest of the biggest that I can get. Hell yeah. That I can fit. Because you know, you, you gotta be able to fit it. It's big, but it fits. I like this Devon. <laughs> I like this Devon. <laughs> We're gonna put this bolt, we cleaned it off. We're gonna put the bolt back on there. I'm gonna make sure there's not a washer on there or anything underneath that. And if it was supposed to have one, we're gonna make sure it didn't fall into the pan. So I'm gonna get it there first and then we're gonna have him screw it back in. And then we'll be set up to be able to take our filter off. Oh, cover. this right here? Yeah, the little blue guy. Yeah, that guy. But look at those little clips come out with a screwdriver very easily. See these little three? Yeah, those. So we're gonna undo those. Yep, and then those will come off. Yep, see, no, don't bend it. I hate when people don't put their covers back on. So we're just gonna do that, we're gonna undo those little thingies, and then you can drop the, the, the little tray thing and uh, we're gonna be able to take your filter off. I just wanna bend it. No, stop, stop, no! Okay, so there is a washer still on there. The ceiling washer, so that's fine. I almost dripped oil on the camera, that would've been great. Grab the uh, microfiber, and then wipe that little area. Put the microfiber on it. Okay, now get your, your bolt. Start threading your bolt up there. Microfiber you right move there. it a little bit. Move the microfiber a little bit so you can see where your hole is. I never aim for the hole. I can see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad at it. <laughs> we gotta get it tight without stripping it. All right, now let me feel the tightness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, perfect, you did it. You got it out. Cool, awesome, without bending it and breaking it, thank God. Now, I wonder if we can do this by hand. I can! Oh, look at that, I'm so strong! Okay, let's put the, uh, let's get our tray again. Oh my. There you go. No, don't, do no! Towel! Oh! Hey, Devon. Yeah? I love you. That's what everybody tries to tell me when they need something. <laughs> you gotta get your filter now. You gotta get it primed up. The mobile one is super dope uh, for the filter wise. Get the M1110A, and then we're running a full synthetic Castrol Edge 0820. It takes about 3.6 quarts. So it's cheaper to always get this guy than it is to actually buy four quarts. It'd be like 40 something dollars. This was only 30 bucks, and we'll have extra. So we did that. We got this little guy, so now we gotta prime him up. How do we prime mm. him up? We wanna fill him with some oil. And then we're gonna dip some of that and then we're gonna lube this seal up just a little bit with some oil as well. Pull a little bit, pull. Pull. Pull a little bit. Sorry, if you keep going, keep going, sorry. Said a little yeah, bit. my bad, my bad. I just didn't know how aggressive you were gonna be. I'm gonna rub her around. Mom, can you stop? Because we're filming. Dang, man. Can you stop we're filming? <laughs> All right, gotta screw this up there. Screw it up. But towards, keep going now, Towards, lean it towards me. Or actually, not towards me, sorry, the front of the car. Yeah, like there, right? Like hand tight. Right about there is enough. You don't want to put a tool or too much torque on that because you could actually start leaking and you would never be able to really get it off. It'd be a pain in the ass. So now everything is reassembly. So now we got to put on our little shield again. And then we're going to go up to the top of the car and we are going to fill it with oil. That's why we use the tarp, guys, because the driveway would have been sad. So, no, stop. What? Ew, gross. First, lift it up a little bit so you can take the jack stand out and then slowly let it go down. So, now we are going to check the dipstick. We need a towel though. Let's hear the microfiber. She's right here right now. Yeah. It's down there. We're going to pour a little bit more so it reads up on the dipstick a little bit more and then we're going to start it because it's going to go down when it fills the oil filter. All right. You know what this means? You've been certified. I know I have. You did it. You did it. High five. Perfect. All right, guys. So there's another video. We got to teach Gio how to change the oil on his car. He probably won't ever do it, but at least now he knows if he ever wanted to, he could. So you excited? Excited about being able to know that? Did yeah, you learn something today? I feel like a man now. I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad that worked out. And uh, now I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. And if you have a Honda, now you know how to easily change your oil. It's pretty simple on pretty much any car. And um, I just uh, hope you guys enjoyed all that. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And um, yep, yeah, okay, great, thanks. Fuck this, dude. I'm just gonna fucking do this. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Have a big ass truck.
Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. Don't make fun of me. Did you lift it? Yeah. Are you more, more? Yeah. than what it was? Yeah. Big truck. Alright, y'all. Set up right here. Yeah, going good. Going good. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Don't rip it. No, I'm just sort of pose. I'm just going to cut it out of the video. <laughs> 